A lot of people for some reason still think that web workers is something new and a super hyped feature, which is not working everywhere. This is completely wrong, and by the end of this video you will know how to use web workers efficiently in any applications for heavy computations. Really often when people are talking about web workers, I see comments like web workers are new, they are not supported everywhere, and this is completely not true. As you can see here, I opened canneuse.com and web workers are supported everywhere, they are completely safe to use. Now the next question is, do we really need to use them and when? Just to remind you, JavaScript is single-threaded, which means it can execute only one operation at a time. And if we have a heavy computed loading on our website, then your complete page will be frozen. Here I have an example with start heavy calculation button and check that browser is frozen. As you can see when I am clicking it, there is a console log, I am not frozen, but now I want to clear console and click start heavy calculation. We see the console log, then I'm clicking on this button check that browser is frozen, and we don't see any console log at all. Only after my heavy calculation is finished, we see console log, finish heavy calculations, and then I am not frozen, which I clicked is there 16 times, because I clicked quite a lot. And we see here the result of our heavy calculation. This is exactly our problem, JavaScript is single-threaded, and the whole page is being frozen. Obviously, we don't have this problem always, but sometimes in our applications we have quite difficult calculations, and then it makes a lot of sense to leverage web workers to do these calculations not inside the main thread. And before we start digging into that, I want to mention that if you can do this logic on the server, it makes even more sense, because you don't want to use the browser and performances of the user if you can do it on the server and keep your client lightweight. But if you don't have such possibility, web workers is a nice solution. Let's have a look on our code. Here I have an Angular application, but it doesn't really matter, it will work in plain JavaScript or in any frontend framework. What I have here is a function start heavy calculation, which is just doing a huge loop to calculate a result. This is the function that implements this heavy calculation, and our goal now is to use web workers to move this logic inside. And our first step here is to create a worker file, it will be app.worker.ts. And what we want to do is to listen of the event that will be emitted outside. And we're writing here add event listener message. And this is the only thing that we're listening to inside our worker. And here we have an event. Now inside it doesn't really make sense to write console log, but let's try. It won't work. Here I want to write worker and then an event. And this is all code that we have inside our worker. Now let's jump back in app component and register a worker. And I want to create here a worker by calling new worker. And inside we must provide a URL. We're writing new URL. And here will be a relative path for our file. It will be app.worker. As a second parameter, we must provide import.meta.url. And URL must be capitalized. And if you are interested what is import meta URL, let's have a look here inside our engine in it. I want to console log what is this. And as you can see in browser, this is a path to my JavaScript file. This is our file inside bundle, which is already transpiled. So here we created a worker by calling new worker. Now just for testing inside our engine unit, I want to write this worker dot, and we have here a post message. And this is exactly how we're throwing messages to the worker. So here I can write hello, and this message will come here inside app worker in this add event listener. Let's look in browser, I am reloading the page, and we don't see the console log of web worker. And here we wrote a console log, and typically people will assume that they will see this console log when we're getting a message. This is not happening because here we see only logs from our main thread, and this is not it. This is why it won't work. But what we can do instead, we can write here post message and just write event.data. So inside data we have what we provided from the outside. If outside here inside post message we provided hello, 
then event data is hello and now after we finished our heavy calculation we are notifying outside with this post message. Now we can jump back inside our app component and subscribe to it. So I want to write here this worker dot on message and this is a function. So here we are getting an event and we can console log here our result. So here is result of the worker. And here inside event.data we will have our data which worker sends us. I'm reloading the page and we're getting result of the worker hello. So how does it work? First of all inside init, we're subscribing on message to get messages from the worker. And also in the constructor we created new worker. Now when we're sending message with post message hello, it goes to the worker, so worker knows, okay, it must do some difficult calculations. We're doing them here, we will do them in a second, and after we're ready, we're sending a message with the result back. This is this post message with any data, and inside our app component we will get it inside this console log. Now what we can do is to move this extremely difficult calculation to our worker, so I will cut it from here go to the worker and if we are getting any message we just do this calculation and after this we just pass the result to the outside. So essentially we don't even care which message is thrown inside our worker, we are just doing this calculation and passing the result outside. Now here I want to move this line to the start heavy calculation and we don't even care to pass some data, it doesn't really matter, we are not using that. What this line does, it triggers the worker when we are starting heavy calculation. Worker does these calculations and then respond with this result here in on message. And what we can do here, we can assign, for example, in this result what we got, so event data. And now let's look how it works. I'm reloading the page, I'm clicking start heavy calculation and I'm clicking check that browser is frozen. As you can see, it is not frozen because all these console logs are directly shown here. And after some time, we are getting result of the worker. This is the result and it is rendered in our markup. So worker did all this heavy lifting and our web page wasn't frozen, which is quite amazing. So now you know how work is working, but how we can organize the code with the worker? Because just imagine, you want your worker to do different things, not just a single calculation. Which means you need something like actions, where you really understand from the type, what do you want to do inside worker. And in order to achieve that, on the top I want to create some types. So let's create a type, which is worker action. This is exactly what's happening. For example here we can say that it is always the object with type log and payload an object with message string, which means we can log something outside as an action. Additionally I want here one more type, it is sum, this is exactly our calculations that we did here. And we need here a payload with the result, this is what we want to pass to our calculations, let's say the starting number in our result. So here will be start number, and this is fine for now. Another thing that I want to create is our response, so this is the information that we are passing outside. So here let's create worker response, and it will be also an object with the same type log, so this is the request, this is the response, and we must provide in the payload, for example, a string, because in the log we typically see a string. Also we want a result for our sum, and for the sum, the payload will be a number. And additionally, I want to create one more thing, which is an error. We won't really dispatch error by ourselves, but if we are getting some error inside the worker, we want to notify our component. This is why let's make payload string for the error. Now we can improve our add event listener. First of all, let's type correctly our event. It is a message event of type and here will be our worker action that we just created. And from here we can destructure type and payload from our event.data. And as you can see now this data is of type worker action that we defined here on the top. Which means with the switch we can cover all our cases, but the whole code I want to wrap in try catch so we can throw the error if we are getting it. So the error here is unknown and I want to call the post message and provide inside the type. Here the type will be error and the payload will be error as error. 
dot message because the error is unknown and we need to type it to the error class. Now inside our try we can write a switch case. So we can write the switch of the type and we have cases inside. And as you can see in autocomplete we are getting nice typings. We have here case for log and for sum. Let's cover first of all sum. We can move all this code in additional function here on the bottom. For example, the function accepts start as a number and we're returning here a number. And inside this function we're doing our calculations and instead of post message, we're just returning the result. Now we can call this sum function inside our case. So we want to get here our result by calling a sum function and providing inside payload.start. Again, because of our typings, we have a nice autocomplete. After this, we want to post a message to the outside. And the type here will be sum and the payload will be the result, which actually means after our heavy calculations of sum, we're messaging to the outside the object with type sum and payload result. Now let's write another case, which will be log. And in here, we just want to post a message. So I want to copy paste post message which will be of type log and the payload must be a string. So let's write here payload.message in worker. And now we also need a break at the end of the sum and at the end of the log. And we can also cover a default with throw new error, unknown action type, and here will be our type. And additionally here in our sum, I see that we are not using start. We want to pass it as an initial value to our result. So this code allows us to cover with actions all our cases and now we can use this worker in different ways and we can make here different calculations based on our needs and we can just add them and see all possible variants. Now we can jump back outside to our app component and the first thing that we want to change here is remove console logs and just write post message where we need to provide an object with type log and payload will be the object with message, for example, started heavy calculations. After this, I want one more message, which will be sum. This is exactly our calculation. And we know that in the payload, we need to pass a start value. Let's say it will be zero. And now here we can update our own message. And just to speed it up, I will paste here a switch because the idea is the same. We're getting an event data, but as you can see, it is not typed. Now we want to type our event. It will be again a message event of type worker response. And now we see that our data is worker response and we have a nice switch where we're getting correct payload like number in sum or string inside log. And we just console log our results. And in the sum, we also write the payload to the result. Let's check if it's still working. I'm clicking heavy calculation. We see our message started heavy calculation in worker. This is this post message that we wrote here. And after some time, we are getting a result, which we see in the console log and also we rendered it inside our HTML. So TypeScript allows us to improve workers and manage them in a way how you would manage actions inside Redux, for example. And if it all looks too complicated for you and you just want to prepare for JavaScript interview, I have lots of advanced JavaScript interview questions which will help you to pass your next interview. And you can download them in the description box below for free.